Hi, a very good morning to all of you. Okay, so another day, another university opening up their respective registration portal, right? Uh, as we have seen key in the past couple of days, starting with, of course, Delhi University, and now you have University of Hyderabad, uh, Jinka registration portal for PG 2024 academic session is open now. Okay. Uh, so let's try to navigate and go through all the possible details uh, for your registration at University of Hyderabad. Okay. We'll keep it simple and we'll start from very basic, which is how to navigate it to the registration portal. Okay. So simply just go and type University of Hyderabad, right? The moment you type, you can just open the very first link or Yera University of Hyderabad ka homepage, right? So this is the homepage of their website, right? Now, uh, straight away, if you look at the top header, agar aap pe check karoge, then you will find a pop-up which says admission and highlighting continuously, okay? So we need to click on the admissions portion, okay? Is pe jab aap click karoge, so this is the actual website or the academic and examination website for University of Hyderabad. Okay. So as you can see, uh, University of Hyderabad academic and examinations, right? So Sara Jobi registration, hota hai, admission, hota hai, everything is taken care at this particular website for University of Hyderabad, right? Till yesterday, even when we were having a session for Delhi University, there was no update uh, related to the related to the registration portal opening. However, uh, late yesterday, take care, most likely late yesterday, not even today morning, uh, the registration portal got activated. Take care. So it's live now, right? As we speak. So here is your homepage. If you can see clearly, dekhoge, the very first uh, link or the notification says uh, respective master's courses and PhD admission based on CUET PG 2024 ka score. Take care. So this is, this is the very first thing. Right now, uh, when you will click on this particular link, so aapka open hoga ye page, right? So ye jo page hai, that is completely dedicated to CUT PG 2024 ka admission. Okay. So uh, isme baaki koi courses nahi honge, chahe wo MBA ho ya koi ho. Ye this particular is pertaining to PG and uh, international MSc PhD admissions 2024-25. Okay. First and foremost thing is the last date. Okay, if you notice karo, start date is 27th, right? Matab, technically, they might have uh, done it yesterday, but when it live, hua, it was 28th. Let's leave that aside. Uh, the last date of application is 15th of May, okay? which is 10 days before Delhi University, which is 25th of May. So in case of University of Hyderabad, the last date of application is 15th of May. Here, you yellow mein unhone clearly highlight kiya hua hai. The last date of application, 15th of May. Right? So this is very important because we at times take time to fill the registration form and everything. So it's very important that we our mind the last date rahe, so that we do it timely. Take uh, Let's look at the next point. It's, it's, it's for the mentioned 43 BG programs take care, among the candidates who return CUT PG 24 examination. Take care. So here we are concerned about economics. So we'll just go through that. Okay. Now, when you check all these options, check karoge, okay. A detailed notification, actually, it's showing 404, right? There is error, right? Here is your minimum qualification criteria. So make sure even before you apply, I know that many children have seen the CUT ka jo, uh, kya kya se, brochure. Tha. Usme universities ne ya summit ki website pe aap jaoge CUT wali wahan pe universities ne apna eligibility criteria likha hua tha advance mein, right? However, some of you might have missed it, so need not worry. Abhi jab aap yahan pe aoge, please fir se double check karo, cross check karo the whether you are eligible for University of Hyderabad or no. ठीक है? As per their eligibility criteria, bachelor's degree in economics with 50 percent, at least 50 percent aggregate, ठीक है? Uh, in economics and at least 50% marks in economics or bachelor's degree with 60% marks in any of the allied subjects. Take care. So when we when they say in any allied subject, which means they are open to all stream students, take care, which is a plus point, making sure that if any child wants to shift to master's in economics, 
दिस पर्टिकुलर एलिजिबिलिटी पॉइंट मेक्स श्योर दैट इट हैपन्स ठीक है कुछ नहीं इज जस्ट एडिशनल टेन परसेंट मार्क्स एग्रीगेट में दे आर आस्क अगर आप किसी और डोमेन से हो वीज अवी कॉमर्स स्टैट्स मैथ्स इंजीनियरिंग और एनी सोशल साइंस सब्जेक्ट देन यू नीड सिक्सटी परसेंट एल्स यू नीड फिफ्टी परसेंट अगर आप इको बैकग्राउंड से आ रहे हो ठीक है यहाँ पे कोई भी मैंशन नहीं किया गया है अबाउट मैथ्स दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज बहुत से बच्चे मैथ्स की एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया की वजह से दे मिस आउट राइट सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड यहाँ पे मैथ्स का ना ही बैचलर्स में बोला गया है एनी ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द बैचलर्स ना ही प्लस टू में बोला गया है सो दैट मेक्स इट इवन मोर ओपन मोर एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ठीक है सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ दे ऑल्सो ऑफर अनदर कोर्स विच इज बाय बाय द नेम ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स इज जस्ट द डोमेन वाइज सो द फर्स्ट वन इज जनरल इकोनॉमिक्स द अदर वन इज financial economics where in the domain of the core would be financial uh, finance in particular theek hai ab again the same thing happened in case of gokhale as well where i told you uh, it's completely fine if you wish to go for financial economics theek hai as long as you have interest in that uh, let's take a very simple example theek hai i completed my bachelor's in commerce i am a bcom honors graduate theek hai i want to pursue masters in economics theek hai but isn't it even better if that economics that masters in economics comes with that element of finance to which i am already aware to or exposed to right agar wahi mera subject thoda usme aa jaye there is no harm in fact it's better for me to learn and understand and have a masters degree as well at the same time so uh, it depends on your uh, interest as well ठीक है, बिकॉज देन यू विल बी एबल टू गिव टू हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट सो वट आई सजेस्ट दिस इफ यू थिंक यू हैव दैट इंक्लेनेशन टूवर्ड्स फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स देन यू कैन गिव इट अ थॉट बोथ बोथ द ऑप्शन आर ग्रेट ठीक है सो देर इज नथिंग लाइक डी मीनिंग एनी अदर कोर्स और सपोर्टिंग एनी पर्टिकुलर कोर्स बोथ हैव देयर ओन मेरिट्स ठीक है बोथ हैव देयर ओन मार्केट इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्लेसमेंट यू ऑलरेडी नो एंड इट्स इट्स अ अ जनरल फिलोमिना कि व्हेन यू हैव एक्सपर्टीज इन अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग यू टेंड टू मास्टर इट एंड यू टेंड टू डू इवन ग्रेटर गुड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड ठीक है सो दैट इज फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर यू हाउ एवर हाउ एवर इनकेस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स यू नीड टू अगेन क्रॉस चेक द एलिजिबिलिटी ठीक है अब मेरा इंटरेस्ट एक जगह है अब मैं अगर इंटरेस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग वहां अप्लाई करना चाहता हूँ वेदर आई एम एलिजिबल और नॉट दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो लेट्स लुक एंड सी दी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया बैचलर्स डिग्री इन इकोनॉमिक्स 50 परसेंट एग्रीगेट मार्क्स एटलीस्ट ठीक है बैचलर्स डिग्री विथ सिक्सटी फ्रॉम अलाइट सब्जेक्ट ठीक है तो सेम फंड है जो ऊपर तक चल रहा था वही यहाँ तक चल रहा है अभी तक कोई डिफरेंस नहीं आया है Uh, they have mentioned the subjects again, same commerce, stats, maths, engineering, or any other social subject like this. And अब ये जो point है ना, ये very important. And mathematics at plus two level, ठीक है? So अगर अब आप notice करो, इन दोनों courses में जो ज़्यादा open to all है और acceptable to all है is the first one which is a general economics main economics and economics का course जो आपका है ठीक है then the specialized course the specialized course of finance financial economics MA financial economics that requires a plus two maths and honestly speaking that is uh, even logical as well ठीक है to make not not to just restrict student इसलिए नहीं कि वो आपको रोकना चाहते कि आप इसमें जाओ ना अगर आपके पास एलिजिबिलिटी अगर आपने प्लस टू में मैथ्स नहीं की बट फॉर योर ओन गुड ठीक है बिकॉज फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स विल इंक्लूड मोर देन जस्ट नंबर्स ठीक है देर विल बी सब्जेक्ट देर विल बी टॉपिक्स विच स्पेशली इफ आई एम कमिंग फ्रॉम लेट से पॉल साइंस बैकग्राउंड और हिस्ट्री बैकग्राउंड और एनी एक्स वाइजी बैकग्राउंड जहां पे वी हैवेंट इवन टच्ड मैथ्स ठीक है कभी भी सो इट विल मेक थिंग्स टफ फॉर यू राइट सो दैट इज द पॉइंट वट दे से अगर आपने एटलीस्ट प्लस टू की मैथ्स की होगी देन ऑल्सो यू विल बी एबल टू मैनेज इट राइट 
So as long as I'm coming from Paul Science, history, anthropology, sociology, or any X, Y, Z subject, need not be just these. It can be commerce as well. Take it. I'm doing BCom honors here, commerce, but I didn't have in maths in plus two. Take care. Those students can also be there, right? But the funda is to make sure that whenever you are going for a particular course, you have the word called prerequisites. Prerequisites, and this is one such prerequisite, which is plus two com maths. Take care. So you need to take care of that as well, that whether you are eligible or not. Take care. I know kafi bachon agar dekha bhi hoga, to bas. Uh, first option dekha hoga ki haan, MA economics hota hai. Haan, because we don't usually highlight all the points about the university. Or jab bhi koi university agar different domains lata hai, that says something about the department in a very positive manner. That says something about the university that they're looking into. They are giving you multiple options. Thik hai? They are giving you options which are industry driven, which are industry oriented as well. Okay, so they have taken care by offering you financial economics as well. And the only thing required is a plus two maths, right? So if you look at other, other universities now, they have come up with, uh, what do you call it, analytics as well, applied economics, and there are X number of courses. Aap go click example, lelo, pe you have agriculture, you have population, you have so many other XYZ uh, options as well. To make sure that agar kisi bhi bachche ka, agar kisi or domain may specific domain may interest hai then he or she can do masters in economics in that particular domain itself okay so they're making uh more feasible options for you right and this is one such example of making more such feasible options options which are of your interest okay so these are the two courses that you can opt for okay both are amazing courses. One comes with a specialized uh, domain of finance. Take One is your journal economics, right? However, I would suggest ki jab aap bharo, uh, us hoard mein nahi rehna hai, us race mein nahi rehna hai ki mere ko abhi aaj hi ja ke ek ghante ke andar form fill karke free hona hai. Nahin. Boss, you need to be there for two years. The institute will defy, decide your career path. Take so make sure aap unka course dekho, in detail dekho ki hume uh, do saal mein, char semester mein kya padha rahe hai, hai? This I have been repeating for all institute and it's a, it's a mandatory thing, theek hai? And then see kya wo electives hume offer kar rahe hai, right? Because overall they have one of the best uh, economics department, theek hai? Uh, the faculties are really good, theek hai? Overall course curriculum is also good, theek hai? But what I want is ki aap bhi apne according us cheez ko dekho, theek hai? And it should satisfy your vision as well ki haan, this is the right answer, theek hai? So this was very important uh, because mujhe pata hai the moment aap jab form bharne jaoge, there will be a issue ki kise prefer kare, kise na kare. So there is always a uh, both uh, pros and cons with both the courses, theek hai? Just go through the curriculum ek bari. Make sure how it is designed. Make sure whether it's aligning with your vision or not. Okay? And then decide. And of course, if you are not able to uh, clear the plus two ka maths ka eligibility criteria, then but obviously you will have to go for the uh, MA economics directly. Okay? So this is this is what it is in terms of eligibility. Okay? No. Okay, uh, so last date, ta -ta 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 -ta, online application for PG courses, jab aap ispe click karoge, so ye raha aapka again ek aur Samad portal. All of you by now are pretty familiar with kya hai Samad ka portal, even uska color kya hota hai, blue, grayish, white, a combination, these many forms you have already filled, right? So hardly there is, uh, in terms of UI and navigation, koi problem aap loko ko nahi hoti hai, it's just ki kabhi kabhaar, कुछ universities extra details मांगती हैं, कुछ universities बहुत limited details मांगती हैं. So it's just that uh, there won't be much issues, but अगर कुछ होता है, then feel free to ask कि हाँ, इस point पे this is some error. As we speak, अभी भी बच्चे actually Delhi University के fee payment में issue face कर रहे हैं. The the glitch is still persistent there. ठीक है? तो ऐसा होता है, just give some time, it will be automatically done, and you will be able to complete your or uh, Delhi University ka form B as well. Okay. I hope there is no such issues or glitch over here in University of Hyderabad. Okay. okay.
All sorted. ठीक है. लास्ट पॉइंटर विच इज दैक्ट टू लास्ट टू पॉइंटर्स पहला विच इज द फीस जो आप लोग पूछते हो कि हमने ऑलरेडी सी यूटी के फॉर्म में भर दिया है अब दोबारा भरना है येस यू विल हैव टू फिल एंड पे द फी अगेन हाउ एवर दे हैव ट्राई टू कीप इट अट नॉमिनल क्योंकि उनको भी पता है कि बच्चा दूसरी बार फॉर्म भर रहा है बिकॉज ऑलरेडी पेड टू दी एन टी ए फॉर दिन सो यहाँ पे जो फीस है इट्स थ्री हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट्स द फीस स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है फीस ऑफकोर्स वन स्पेड विल नॉट बी रिफंडेड बिकॉज ये एप्लीकेशन फीस है नॉट द कोर्स फी सॉर्टेड ओके ना ये जो ये जो इन्होंने स्पेशली येलो में हाईलाइट किया है ना ये पोर्शन ये मैं आप लोगों को हर एप्लीकेशन में दो तीन बार ही बोलता हूं बिकॉज इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है विच इज टू मेक श्योर यू हैव द प्रिंट आउट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी थिंग जो आप यहाँ पे फिल कर रहे हो चाहे वो एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म हो चाहे वो फी पेमेंट का रिसिप्ट हो यू नीड टू हैव अ कॉपी अ पी डी एफ ऑफ द सेम विथ यू ठीक है फॉर फ्यूचर रेफरेंस इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है अब इसको पढ़ लेते हैं एक बार आफ्टर सक्सेसफुल पेमेंट ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन फीस फॉर्म्स विल बी जनरेटेड अब अब कभी कभार क्या होता है ना कि हमने फॉर्म भर लिया सारी चीजें हमने कर ली बट स्टिल देर इज दैट नॉक इन दैड की यार क्या ये फॉर्म सही से भरा गया है इज आई कम्प्लीटेड इट कम्प्लीटली और नॉट कुछ मिसिंग तो नहीं है एंड एवरी तो द आंसर टू दैट इज की आप उसको जस्ट टू क्रॉस चेक यू कैन सी द फॉर्म नंबर विल बी जनरेटेड तो आप उस अपने जो फॉर्म है उसका एक बार नंबर क्रॉस चेक करना एंड दिस शुड बी द पैटर्न ऑफ योर फॉर्म नंबर ठीक है विच इज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद यू हैदराबाद पी जी ठीक है यहाँ तक ऐसा कुछ होगा और उसके आगे ऑफकोर्स आपके नंबर होंगे तो आप क्रॉस चेक माइंड बोल सकते हो कि हाँ आई हैव डन इट प्रॉपरली एंड ऑफकोर्स इन दी एंड प्रिंट आउट ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म एंड कीप इट द फ्यूचर कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस ठीक है विदाउट द फॉर्म एप्लीकेशन इट विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड ऑफकोर्स तो प्लीज चेक कर लेना आपका वहां पर फॉर्म एप्लीकेशन नंबर दिखा रहा हो विच मीन्स विच कैन फॉर्म यू हैव completed your registration theek okay? hai that is it from me for this particular session i hope i try to make things a bit simple for you theek okay? hai aur uh, baki agar kuch bhi query aati hai just drop us on our whatsapp number right do join us uh, do join our telegram group official telegram group theek okay? hai jahan pe we share all the information pertaining to any course any registration portal and deadlines and everything right so that is it from me in this particular session and we'll meet in subsequent sessions okay thank you so much guys